In the months that followed my video, Feeling Younger Taking Two Things, I've heard from a lot of viewers that have also started taking the supplements I'm taking and have had similar results. One of those people is Rob Salter of the UK. Today, I interviewed Rob and we talked about his experiences. As always, the links to what we're taking is in the description. Here's my interview with Pulse viewer, Rob Salter. So here, I'm with Rob Salter. Hi, Rob. Hi, Marcel. So uh, you, go ahead and tell the story about how we found each other. Yeah, so it, it was one of those interesting, um, like suggested for you type videos on YouTube. And um, obviously we never really know why the algorithm suggests what it suggests. But, um, you know, I saw you, I found you, I found you very kind of relatable. Um, and then when I heard what you were doing and what the effects had been on you, I just immediately kind of accepted, okay, fine. That's something I really want to try. And as I, you know, we've spoken before and I think I said, um, one of the things that really swayed me was the way you were talking about your kids. Um, so, you know, you, you were struggling, they were learning to play tennis, if I remember rightly, and you were struggling to keep up. So you hired tennis coaches and you kind of felt bad about it. But then when you took the NMN, you realized you had all this energy and now you can actually play tennis with your kids and you feel much more, you know, part of their lives and their growth and development as such. And that was just a very relatable kind of thing to me. So um, it wasn't a difficult decision to just order some and try it. Yeah, that was, um, you know, I made that video not thinking anybody was going to see it. You know, I just did it to tell the story. And uh, I mean, I thought people would click on it because I just like I told the story in the video, I had put that before and after picture up and everybody was liking it. So I thought, oh, maybe this would be a good way to tell the story in a video. And it just yeah. worked out that way. 200,000 views later wow. uh, and, and literally hundreds of people like yourself. So it's great to have your story. Um, various degrees of success. So it's cool to have your story. I want to try and get more people's stories. So you saw, what What did you start with? Let's start there. You you heard the, saw the video and you decided to give it a shot. What did you um, get started with? So I did, I did two things. I bought David Sinclair's book, Lifespan, which I read. And it was really useful for me to get the kind of theoretical background, why this stuff works what it is what it what it aims to solve and his whole philosophy of aging so i started with nmn i've been on using nmn every day for about two and a half months and um pretty soon after that i added resveratrol and now i have a stack where i take uh, nmn resveratrol and i've added berberine onto that as well no tmg though not yet no that's next probably be a good idea um the more that i talk to people alan will take you know, quite a bit of that as well. Yeah. Um, so not a bad idea with NMN. Um, again, coming from David Sinclair, you know, I'm no expert, but you know, he says, take it. Owner of Do Not Age says, take it. So I take it, <laughs> but um, and a lot of people do, but probably a good idea. It's supposed to manage your methyl groups and help, uh, get, help your liver get rid of senescent cells. So can't right. be a, can't be a bad thing. Um, so then what were you, uh, Kind of, I guess, what was your condition before starting NMN and what that, and then we'll get to the, to your results. Sure. So, um, I kind of found that after I turned 50, my body started to behave differently. Um, that's really the main, the main sort of change. Um, so I, so I had two, I basically I was diagnosed with diabetes, first of all, mm. <clears throat> and then more recently I had um, a cancer scare and I had to have surgery to remove a stage two growth in my bladder. Hmm. Um, and these were kind of things that were just really out of the ordinary for me, totally unexpected. Um, and little things were happening. So for example, when I was trying to exercise and run, I would kind of pull muscles and get muscle sprains all the time to the point where I was kind of losing confidence a little bit in my own ability, physical ability to do things. Um, oh, this was something I, I'd forgotten that I'd mentioned. Uh, <laughs> something to do with clothing. So I decided when I was 50, that I was going to stop wearing jeans. Now, don't ask me why I made that crazy decision. 
but I just, I don't have to try anymore. You know, let's just accept my age. I'm getting older, et cetera, et cetera. And I also had a deep suspicion of people who wore Lycra as well. I'm just being honest here. <laughs> and I think the last time we spoke, I'd just come back from the gym and I was wearing Lycra, just about to get into my jeans. So that's all kind of, that's all kind of changed. There's been a big mental shift that's gone on. Yeah, so much of this is uh, turns out to be mental. Um, you know, this is this is. Uh, I think attitude's a real important component. You know, that sometimes gets forgotten, uh, even by myself. I talk so much about um, diet, exercise, getting good sleep, eliminating sugar. I mean, all really important stuff. Um, but po- uh, having the right mental attitude, you know, it's just and staying the course. You know, you you can yeah. take this stuff for granted too after a while, and then you just sort of have to say, "Well, I'm out." You know. Yeah. No. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, yeah. So, uh, you're. Uh, I guess how quickly did your body respond to the animate? <clears throat> it's difficult to say. I mean, it, it seemed to me like it responded immediately. Now, I don't know whether that's placebo effect or not, but. I remember the day that I took it, it was sort of, it's now what, mid, mid-December, mid it was mid-September. And um, I'd slept really badly that night and I didn't feel like I was going to be able to concentrate. <clears throat> so I took the NMN and I was just able to focus, like, you know, really deeply focus on what I was doing. And I, so I was just kind of like, wow, okay, that's really interesting. And I would say probably about two, three weeks after that, um, I started becoming more physically active and this wasn't kind of a, a choice. It was just, I, th- I think what happened to me is that I'd kind of become what they would call a couch potato. I, you know, you'd find me lying on the couch, having a snooze. If there were, uh, the other thing is there's, um, I live in London and there are tube stations, two tube stations close to me. And I would always drive to those tube stations and just do a short walk down. And then suddenly I had this idea which had never occurred to me before. Why don't you just walk? <clears throat> it's half an hour walk. Just have a walk. So I just started walking. <laughs> and then within about a week, I realized, oh, I don't really have the right shoes for this. I went and bought some walking shoes. And now, now I walk everywhere. I have this Apple Watch and I just, you know, do my step count and increase my step count, et cetera, et cetera. But it, again, it wasn't like a conscious decision. It just, I just felt like doing it. And then the rebound time from all this extra activity, not having any, any issues there, or when you say rebound, how, how do well, you mean? I mean, you're exercising, you're doing fitness, you're walking a lot, at least a half hour each way from the tube. Um, yeah, you know, what I was dealing with was like I would I could get myself up to do fitness. But I would have three, four days of muscle soreness or different kind of time just to recover from it. Right. So I don't I don't get that. I did mean, the you, muscle cr- I guess did you before? What did you have? You mentioned some muscle yeah. muscle I mean, discomfort. So for example, so um, so for example, I think today I told you I went for a run, and it's the kind of run I haven't done for many years. <clears throat> and um, I would never have attempted that run normally because I almost would be almost certain that I'd get a muscle sprain. I didn't today. It was absolutely fine. Um, and I'm pretty sure that tomorrow I can exercise again. And it would also it would also be fine. So a lot of this is to do with the way that NMN works with, you know, blood flow, increasing blood flow. And the other thing I mentioned, yeah, was that I had little patches of uh, on my ankles where the hair had stopped growing, kind of like bald ankles, really bizarre. And the hair's regrowing on my ankles, which is also a very odd thing. Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah. Th- yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff that creeps up on you. I, I think last time we had a talk about them three, four weeks ago, and then we were, we finally scheduled our our discussion to record, right? Um, but I said, be on the lookout of hot and cold sensitivity kind of changing. Like I'm enjoying a hot shower a lot more. And I'm not getting cold when I go outside, even if I don't have a jacket. Live in Germany. You live in London. It's cold there now. Oh yeah, yeah. So I came out the gym the other day, didn't put a jacket on, didn't put a sweat top on, just walked to the car. Yeah, I was a bit, it was, didn't bother me. I was curious if that was the same for you because I, I can't get over it. It just shocks me. I go outside like, so uh, something about the NMN, you know, that 
in, in the test, let's put it this way, they know it raises your NAV levels in your blood. What is uncertain, what, the, what hasn't been tested enough physically, uh, is how much of it gets into your tissue. And that's really hard for me to believe that it doesn't or that it wouldn't. And I I'm very confident in the test. Uh, they're going into human trials in, at uh, Harvard next year. I'm very confident. So just to, anyone that didn't keep up with my video probably be a good primer, you know, but getting into this one to make sure you watch the video that we're discussing, which was my story. And now we're listening yeah. to Rob's story and I'm talking too much already. Just trying to set everything up with where the science is right now. Um, you know, we know it raises NAD in your blood. You can test this. You can get an, an NAD test, actually, from Do Not Age. They'll test it for you. Great. It's in the blood. How much of it's getting into the tissue? But when we talk about not having muscle soreness, not having joint pain, um, not feeling hot, not cold weather deep in your bones. Yeah, I feel cold on my skin. I don't feel it down in my bones. There, I would have to think the NAD is influencing the tissue as well. I don't yeah. know if you have it. We're neither one of us are doctors, folks. So we're just giving you no, our no. end user experiences. But uh, but go but I'm, ahead. I'm looking. I'm looking at kids now. You know, you see kids outside with one or two layers, and you know, your mum would used to say that you put a jumper on because you'd forget. And it's it's partly because they don't really feel it. Um, yeah. The other thing I, I was going to sort of relate relating to that is this idea of our um, chronological age versus our um, cellular age, if you like. Genetic so age, things, but yeah. Genetic age, yeah. So one of the things I'm looking forward to doing is... Chronological getting... is the age, I'm uh, the word I'm looking for, the chronological age. Yeah, Sorry. Exactly. So the, the difference between the two. Right. So I'm looking forward to getting a test. I think it's, I think it's called the Hall Bath test, which actually tests your biological age, your cellular age, um, just to see if it has reversed. Because if you look at, say... David Sinclair is a 50 year old guy who looks like he's 35. Yeah. And his test, he posted one this morning. Uh, I think it said he's 41. I know it's been as low as 31. I think it fluctuates. He said overall, it's been decreasing. I haven't done that test yet either. For me, it really comes back to feeling great. Do I feel great? Yeah. You know, every day I take the stuff, I feel great. I've added mm. uh, calcium AKG to my, uh, to my regimen. I've been very slow to add stuff. I got no no qualms with with two or three things. That's a that's a, to me a lot. But I did add that and one more thing that I'm going to talk about soon. Uh, but I've been really happy with the with the AKG as well. It's just as as another note, it's something I feel right away. You know, in a in a yeah. little bit different than the NMN, uh, maybe not as athletic. You know, sports. Mm. Um, you were talking, okay, you, you, so you changed the way you're dressing. You changed your routine going to work. Um, mm -hmm. Just in general, uh, let's talk about your upcoming move because you mentioned you were going to be moving and you felt so much mm -hmm. better about that. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm, I'm emigrating, basically. I'm moving to Israel, so I'm moving to a hot kind of Mediterranean climate. And um, having lived there before, it, it does actually make a difference what kind of physical shape you're in. Uh, your ability to deal with the heat mm -hmm. um, and also just to kind of make a fresh start, start a new life. Um, I have that kind of, I have that physical confidence now in myself that I'm going to be able to um, have a long and healthy rest of my life effectively. And so I just feel positive about the whole thing. I mean, that is awesome. I mean, the whole story is awesome, Rob. And, you know, I, I'm really glad that you that we connected and that you you've come on and uh, you know, I guess I'll be on your channel, you'll be on mine, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So check out Rob Salter. What's the name of your channel going to be? Or is it's it Rob? It's Rob Salter. Okay, well, it's, it's a very original name. So <laughs> good job. No, uh, that's great. And um, yeah, um, you know, I think that. I mean, I guess what is the message to others out there? Because that's what I found doing my video was. And that's what keeps driving me to keep posting things. I'm posting a bunch of shorts with messages from David Sinclair. I think my subscribers are getting a little tired from all my posting, but I'm trying to give, send these out there so that they could either share them or watch them in bingeable nuggets. And um, yeah, I guess I'm just still full of energy, so I'm still doing a lot of things. But what is your message for other people out there considering uh, NMN, considering the supplements? You've kind of 
I piggybacked on other people's stories that led me here. Now I'm kind of passing on the torch to you to pass yeah. on your to pass on your story. I think the, the advice I would give people is just be aware of your own thinking, because one of the things that sometimes happens as we age is that we become a little bit more fearful of life, uh, possibly a little bit more cynical, full of uncertainty, fear, doubt, that kind of thing. And it, it can be easy to look at something like this and just think, well, it's too good to be true. You know, blah, blah. It hasn't been tested. It, blah, blah, blah. You know, you, there are lots of things that you can throw at this. And really, my suggestion to people is just give it a go. There's, there's been, you know, no, no harmful side effects have been recorded since it's been, since people have been using it. People have been using it now for about three years. Um, Sinclair has been using it. He's been giving it to his father to use in his 80s and he's had amazing results. So it, it's out there for us to take advantage of. So let's go for it. Yeah, and uh, and neither one of us are, are are giving medical advice in that regard. These are supplements. I, I treat them as vitamins. Most of these are things that either your body already makes. We're not talking about foreign substance, substances. Um, these are things that are synthesizing things that your body stopped making. That's essentially the way I look at yeah. the supplements. That's what yeah. the scientists are, are are saying about them. These are they find things that 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 we are losing cellular cellularly in our bodies and um and they're trying to figure out how we can replenish those and i mean in in sinclair's lab they tested thousands of different molecules to come down to these few that show promise and there's other there are other things that i haven't started taking some people have started taking spermidine there are other promising substances that they're finding so it's not just nmn resveratrol it just so happens these are the most tried and true, true tested. Uh, you're taking metformin as well, no, which no, is, I'm not. I'm taking. I'm taking oh, you, berberine. You're taking berberine, which is uh, yeah. related to it, it. Many scientists say it has the same effect of it, but that's a um, that's a supplement that mimics mimics a drug that can also help with the aging process, also help diabetic uh, symptoms. So yeah. um, that's another thing. Uh, you know, to, to be considered, I guess, for people is berberine. So the story that I shared earlier was that um, <clears throat> what I discovered when I got this di diabetes diagnosis. Uh, so I was sent some literature about it and it was all about living with, di with diabetes. It's all about, okay, this is who you are now. This is your identity. <laughs> and, and my kind of initial view was, well, hold on a minute, this is a lifestyle disease and you can reverse it if you change your lifestyle. And I, I actually, once I learned about metformin, uh, because if you if you read Dr. Sinclair's book, you'll see that it, it's a very, very interesting drug. It's one of the drugs that he takes when he doesn't have diabetes. Mm -hmm. And I actually went on a, a UK diabetics forum on Facebook. And I just did a little post about, you know, different ways of looking at metformin. And they removed the post, which I... <laughs> I just thought which was is, which is strange because you know, that's a commonly prescribed drug for diabetic sufferers, and yeah. uh, a lot of people. It's interesting that you're getting such great results from NMN because I have heard from several people with diabetes that are interested in they're curious about NMN sp specifically, and um, and I I was diagnosed pre-diabetic, so I was never really. I, I, there are other scientists now saying there's no such thing as pre-diabetic. You're either diabetic or you're not. Um, okay. But I also had a fatty liver, talked about before. Uh, those things cleared up. So I can kind of relate, but it's, it's definitely cool to give people more insights from somebody that was also diagnosed. Um, so the, that's, thing, the thing I would say, the thing I would say about diabetics, if you're, if you're watching this and you, and you, you have it, um, I, I, can't, I haven't had the blood test done. Um, since I started taking it, I, and I, so I can't really comment on, on its effect on blood sugar. But what I can say is, it is something that will change your attitude towards health and fitness. It will give you physical confidence. It will fill you full of energy. It will make you want to go out there and lead a more healthy lifestyle. And that is the one, that's the one thing that diabetics are being asked to do. Mm -hmm. Right? That's so true. It's going, yeah. it's going to have a positive result for you. Yeah, that is true. That was my problem was that wall, you know, it hit the wall, either it was anxiety, which that all went away, which is probably one of the most beautiful things of this whole thing. 
uh, was was beating anxiety attacks because I can't. I, it was that was a twenty three year, twenty four year ordeal for me with m- very frequent visits to the ER. So uh, getting over that opened up this whole world beyond that wall, which you know. And now when as I'm exercising, there is no wall. Like I feel as long as my lungs are pumping and I can keep going and not feel like I'm going to pass out or have a heart attack or I'm overdoing it, which is, yeah, yeah that's. And, and we, we forget, we forget the kind of, um, what's the name of the happy drug that gets released when you've been exercising? I was feeling it all day today. Is it endorphins or what? Is endorphins, it? Yeah. you know, like we forget what that feels like. Yeah. <laughs> if you've been for a run and you've done something that you've really exerted yourself, you get that endorphin rush and it keeps you on a high all day. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I have an Instagram. It's called Marcel the Pulse. I just started posting there a couple of weeks ago, about last week maybe. And one of the things I talk about there is going for a run and actually trying to get that lung burn so that I could push mm. myself so that when I go do athletics, I'm taking on a big athletic endeavor. I'm going to talk more about that later when I'm a little closer to pulling it off. But um, but it's going to be ridiculous to do this at 57. Um, but, uh, you know, I was trying like hell to avoid anything like that lung burn. Like I didn't yes. want to be pushing my lungs because yes. I was having these breathing issues or tightness of the chest. So it would spiral out of control for me that. But now, like what you said, I have that <clears throat> confidence and I'm just bursting past what I think my limit is, you know, actually, which is that's the, the nature of fitness and trying to work out is to try to push yourself beyond what you think you can do. What, what do personal coaches tell you all the time? Keep going, keep going. One more, one more. <coughs> and I'm like, it's no funny, more. You, you're just making me think of, you remember the rat story, the rat rats in the lab story that mm-hmm. David Sinclair tells. So he comes in one day to his lab and his assistant, comes up to him and says, we've got a real problem because the, uh, the treadmill's broken. The rats are running on a treadmill. And, and it turns out the only reason it's broken is because it's never gone that far and that fast. Yeah. And the, the rats who've been given M- N- NMN just don't stop running. I you sometimes gotta, think of that when I'm on the treadmill, actually. You got, I do feel like those rats when I'm running. I know it's a weird story, but I'm out there running super fast. I'm like, I'm that rat. <laughs> yeah i'm just running down the street instead of a treadmill but yeah that that is a story that does pop into my mind you could find that video online you get a search around for it i'm probably gonna get a clip of that and share that because that is out there and that is very much worth seeing and investigating well rob thank you very much it's always good to talk to you we're gonna have to catch up when are you making your move to israel uh hopefully february march so we'll have to we'll have to connect after that and check in yeah. with you Definitely. Look, I wish you continued success and thanks for sharing your story with everybody. Right. Thanks for having me on. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed my interview with Rob as much as I did. Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, like this video. It all helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time.